guys, welcome back. I'm really, really happy to be back with a brand new tutorial. This is my first tutorial back in a while. I thought it would be the perfect time to do just kind of like a pick me up, feel good makeup. So I did something that's like my favorite type of makeup to do. This is a golden shimmery smoky eye with bronzy tones, a lot of like gold glow perfect for the holidays. I love how it turned out. But before we get into that, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you can stay up to date with all of my videos and get notified right away. Let's get into this Good Vibes Holiday Shimmer Makeup. I'm starting off with a new primer. This one is from Carez. It is the Brightening Priming Moisturizer. So I'm gonna start with my skin move to the eyes and then finish off my skin again mm, this smells amazing this smells so good for foundation today i'm using the nars natural radiant long wear foundation i've been kind of going back and forth on applying my foundation with a beauty blender or with a brush what do you guys prefer to apply your foundation with beauty blender or brush the finish on that is so pretty. It's kind of like, it has this really radiant finish to it, so it makes your skin look really glowy. That's a really beautiful foundation. I'll use it more in more videos so you guys can get an idea of whether it's your vibe or not. Now it's time for concealer, and you guys know this is absolutely my favorite concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've been using this all year round. I've talked about it so much already, but today I'm actually going to like really give you guys some great information of what makes this concealer so great. If you guys saw my collab video with Roxette, you would have seen that we both picked this as our concealer of the year. No matter what your skin tone is, you're gonna find a color that fits your skin tone. They just came out with six new shades. So the color that I've been using for a while and it was kind of my go to color was ginger. After they came out with the six new shades, I found another color that I kind of love just as much as ginger and it is canel. So you could see canel is quite a bit brighter but ginger just blends into my skin tone beautifully. I'm gonna use canel today because why not? <laughs> it has such a beautiful creamy luxurious texture to it and it is lightweight. Even though it is lightweight, you still get medium to high buildable coverage, which you don't always get with lightweight concealers, like especially creamy concealers. A lot of times to get a lot of coverage, you have to kind of go for the pop concealers, which are usually a bit thicker and heavier. This is very creamy, it's very lightweight, but you still get that buildable coverage which is amazing for hiding any fatigue, dark circles, any signs of imperfections, fine lines, all that. You're gonna get that with this. Plus it has a really beautiful radiant finish to it. Another thing that I love about these is the applicator. Like this wand just makes it so much easier to use than like a tube that you have to squeeze. I absolutely love the wand and then it's just like for highlighting and contouring it's the easiest thing so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that when I'm finishing up the skin but you can see it just looks so beautiful on the skin you guys are also gonna love that it's very hydrating so the formula is crease proof it's long wearing those are all of the major major benefits why I love this I'm gonna come back to that in a bit I'm gonna be using the violet Boss Pro eyeshadow palette today. I'm starting off with this color right here, the transition color. Can you guys believe that it is the end of the year? Let me know below, you guys. Let me know about your year. How was 2017 for you? By the time you guys are watching this, I'm actually flying to visit my family in Vancouver where I grew up. So I'm super excited about that. Next, I'm gonna take this color here, brownie points and kind of dip my brush into are you kidding me as well and I really want to create like a really sexy eye shape so I'm just bringing that out towards the outer corner running that along my lower lash line and then using my blending brush and then just bringing that color up into the outer crease 
and then blending that out. This is like the perfect holiday smoky eye. You could wear this either with a nude lip or a gold lip or a red lip. You could just do so many different things with this eye look. I announced a huge, huge announcement on my Instagram. One of the biggest things that I worked on all year and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I'm actually gonna share it here on YouTube at the beginning of the year. If you want a sneak peek, check out my Instagram. At Iman, right here. <laughs> Still using those two same colors, I'm now going to take them. My inner corner. So we're kind of going to do like a halo eye today. So we're gonna keep the center bare and just wrap the color, that darker shadow around it. So now I am taking Thanks A Latte. I always love doing this step because it's like an instant cleanup step. So it just cleans up all the shadow. It just makes it look so much smoother and cleaner and everything just looks really soft and diffused. I am taking the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. I'm gonna apply this just right in the center of my lid. And this color is gonna go great with these kind of brown warm tones that we applied. Blend that in with my finger. And then right over that, I'm taking the toffee eyeshadow. And that just looks so pretty on. So now I'm gonna take that Maybelline color tattoo one more time in the inner corner. And then adding that bronzy eyeshadow on top of it. How pretty is that, you guys? And it's so easy. I'm adding a little bit of brown liner in my waterline. This one is from It Cosmetics. You could also use a gold if you want. That would look super pretty. I'm using a really thin pair of lashes. These are from BH. You guys have seen me highlight with the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna show you how you can highlight and contour today. So to highlight, now I'm going in with a lighter color. This is Custard. The wand gives you so much precision. Applying that lighter color in all of the key areas that you would just normally highlight. To contour, I'm going in with a darker color that's two shades darker. This is Amand, and it's this beautiful caramel, dark rich caramel color. This is like the perfect contour color. This is gonna create just a beautiful, really soft effect on your skin. It's gonna give your face so much dimension. Just blending everything out first, the lighter color, and then I'm gonna go in and blend out the contour color. If you guys actually watched my recent no foundation tutorial, I'm gonna link it for you right here. I just used this concealer and I didn't use any foundation at all. And I don't know, I love that effect. I thought it looked so beautiful. You definitely don't always need to use foundation, and if you have a great concealer, you can skip foundation altogether. Plus the texture makes your complexion look really smooth. So I went about two shades lighter for highlighting and about two shades darker for contouring. This is one of my favorite ways to get like a super natural highlight and contour without it looking really overdone. This is just like, this just looks like your own skin but just enhanced. I absolutely love the way this looks. Those are the three shades that are my go-to's to get this beautiful, luminous, radiant effect on the skin. For blush, I'm using a mix of two shades from Wet n Wild, Apricot in the Middle, and the second one is Mellow Wine. I'm gonna start with Apricot in the Middle. It's like this really nude peach, but it's a really pretty, peachy tone and has a hint of shimmer to it. So I like wearing this as a base all over and then I go in with the brighter color just on the apples, but this is just super, super pretty. So I'm just gonna go in with this, which is more like kind of like a terracotta. And for the lips, I'm using this gorgeous color from NARS. This is their Power Matte 
lip pigment in the color Get It On, and it's the prettiest nude ever. I love it. It's so nice, you guys. I love this color so much and I'm really debating if I should just leave it matte because this dries to the most beautiful matte finish. Should I leave it matte or should I do a gloss on top? Ooh! I don't know. I'm gonna do it because I had this color out. I'm gonna try it. This is from BH Cosmetics. It is the Nude Rose Lip Gloss. I love this gloss. It looks good on everything. That's so pretty. Okay, yay. I'm glad I went for it because I feel like this makes it a little bit more holiday. And the last step, I'm gonna add this beautiful gold highlighter to my skin. This one is from Wet n Wild. And if you guys watched my best drugstore highlighter video, you would know that this was one of my top picks. And I love this shade because it's very golden. So the whole vibe for this look was very bronzy, very goldy. Just adding this in all the key areas. And this last little touch of glowy highlight makes this look perfect for the holidays. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and don't forget to add me on Instagram at Iman. I love the way this look turned out. I absolutely love the finish on my skin. Be sure to check out the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, my pick for best concealer of the year. I'm gonna add a link for it in the description box below, plus all the other products that I use. I am off to my holiday party with my girlfriends. I feel really confident, which is a good feeling. I hope you guys are having a great holidays. Bye.